watching In La Cena. Up next, my interview with some of the fashion designers from this show. Don't go anywhere. I'm Lisa Lee, I'm the CEO of YouLiveYouLearn.org. Uh, putting this show was awesome. I mean, there was a lot of stuff going on, a lot of work, but in the end, the final product is so fulfilling to have these aspiring designers come from different cities and to showcase their talent in the fashion capital. I think it's amazing. It's a great opportunity for them to motiv be become motivated, get exposure, and just really become passionate about what they love to do. Tell me, when you were choosing the designers, what set these designers apart from all the other applicants you had? I'm sure you had tons. Well, these designers showed me that they were able to create a design, execute it, but they never had the opportunity to really showcase what they are capable of to the public, to the community. And I think that this was a great opportunity to do that for them and to give them um, an event that they can actually live their dream out. How exciting is this for you? This is extremely exciting. I'm overwhelmed a little bit. I'm still taking it in. Um, I'm only 23 and this is huge for me. So I haven't graduated from college. This is huge. And I feel like a little girl in a big city <laughs> right now. Is this the first time you've had your line out there like this? This is, yes, on this level. Um, I've done small fashion shows, but nothing quite like this. And Tell us what is your signature piece? What's your favorite piece? My favorite piece would have to be a gray dress with a huge, um, I would call it ruffle organza bottom. You'll see it's my last look that's going to come out with. What's his name? Her, uh, yeah. Does he have a name? Flower Power. <laughs> there we go. Sounds good. Um, is there anything that sets your line aside from some of, some of the other designers there? I use a lot of color. I love color. Um, and then for my guys, I, I feel that people should be comfortable. So everything's loose fitting. Um, really natural. Um, you can mix all the pieces together, which is a good thing. You can take from each line, I will each um, style and put it with something else. And the same for the women. It's a six in one swimsuit. Um, the skirts can be turned into dresses. It's, it's a little bit of everything. So I, I guess that would be the only thing. I'm not all for structure. I want to have fun because people like to be comfortable. What can we expect to see? Well, you're definitely going to see one of these. We don't tell anybody. But um, a lot of shape, a lot of structure, a lot of movement. Um, I basically just make things that are beautiful to my eye. And so I hope that everyone else thinks they're just as beautiful. But definitely a lot of shape and some things that really flatter a woman's body. And hopefully you'll see it in the models when they walk, how like beautiful they feel. What inspired your line? I grew up actually in a family of eight children, and I have four sisters, and they're all gorgeous. And everyone in my family is so like beautiful and smart and talented. And I think growing up, I never felt like I was unique or I stood out. And I kind of design clothes that make me feel special and would make any woman feel special when they wear them. And so that's kind of always the inspiration behind what I do. It's just to make women feel beautiful and feel like they do stand out and that they are unique. Tell me a little bit about the pieces. Um, I've got a little sneak peek here. Woo! Looks very comfortable. Um, tell me, what types of colors will we be seeing? Will we be seeing any metals, any jewelry? Some metallic in there. I borrowed some jewelry from Vic, the uh, jewelry designer, because I'm not that big into accessories. But definitely a lot of handwork, a lot of color, bright colors, some florals. I do a lot of like hand detailing and handwork. My line is uh, Revolution. I got the inspiration by the uh, colonial era. It's uh, uh, influenced by the uh, Portuguese, Dutch, and Japanese. So it, uh, I like to bring the uh, classic style with an edge to it. So it's a uh, mod, sleek, and chic. Oh, I love that. Thank you. Ooh, that sounds kind of sexy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So it has like, I uh, use a lot of wool. It's a very, very clean cut, very chic. And um, because I like to, uh, to you know, in normal uh, day, all the men's suit is very 
it's very traditional, but I would like to bring it to the next level with the edge to it. I'm not scared to the uh, to to the revolution of the uh, the men's uh, clothing line. I like the name. Thank you, thank you. It's, uh, so, how do you hope people feel when they put your clothes on with uh, the name Revolution and the sexy design you've described for me? Uh, I like it. Uh, they were like uh, they own the world. Like uh, oh my god, I would like the uh, I would like to wear Dana Sudar. It's gonna be like uh, I feel the sexiest man or the sexiest girl to wear the uh, my line. Yeah. So you want people to put on your pieces and feel confident. Confident, sexy, and believe, and um, just uh, exciting. Yeah. Is this your first show? Uh, no, actually, I'm a, I'm a chef. I just started design like three months ago. I just in transition to be a fashion designer. So this is my third fashion show. All right, I have a question for Daniel. This is a little different, out of, Thank you. sort of aside from the fashion show. So you're a fashion designer. What do you think about my dress? You're yeah, fabulous. Love it. Do you think I put it together okay with like the shoes? And... Excellent. You sure? Flawless. Wow, that's a huge compliment <laughs> coming from a fashion designer. I just had to ask, you know, it's so tempting. I love the venue and this is a great cause and I think that um, like Lisa Lee, the organizer said, um, dreams do come true. So we love the whole idea and um, the fact that there's designers from San Francisco, from New York, from different um, areas coming together to make this event happen. I think that's fabulous. I love the idea that she's, she's creating this great platform for emerging designers, designers that all over the country who wish to show, you know, maybe they cannot be part of New York Fashion Week, but this is just right before New York Fashion Week and it's a great exposure for all of them. It's not crashing with all the other press and media and all the big designers. What's the name of the line? Our line is called Rock Victorious. Okay. Tell me how you guys got together to put this together. Well, basically we met each other uh, a while back. Uh, eight months ago. I seen some of his jewelry designs, he's seen some of my jewelry designs, and we decided to make a piece uh, out of one of the pendants that he made and out of the design ideas that I have, and we kind of really fell in love with it, and we decided we had nothing else to do other than merge. And is this one of the pieces right here? I like the combination of like the metal and then sort of the stone. Yeah, what we do, we like to bring a lot of stuff together into one necklace. We use uh, pyrite, hematite. All natural materials. All natural yeah. materials of the earth, even of the stars. Sometimes we work with meteorite. Yes. And things from the sea, from the ocean, from all over the place. But it's all handmade, one of a kind, made by us, unique. So if you buy a piece of Rock Victorious jewelry, the only one in the world who has that piece of jewelry. Stoska's from Paris. She couldn't be here, so we collaborated on a collection together, which is called Hardscore. That's what we'll be showing tonight. And it is more of an avant-garde collection, kind of edgy, kind of fun, Asian-inspired. And we have all of the, you know, pretty crazy millinery pieces as well. Tell us a little bit about what inspires this line. Well, Asia, for one. She lived in Shanghai for a long time. I lived in Japan for a very long time. Also, I think um, a, a little bit, a little sporty look, kind of edgy, kind of punk rock. Um, you know, the whole like French electro thing that's been going on right now. There's a lot what of What can we expect? Colors, color, metallic? Lots of color, lots of color, like real, like extremism, poofs and... We love lots of yeah, color. Yeah, like lots of color. I mean, literally, it's not just like a color story. It's tons of color, but there's definitely a lot of teals, purples. Tell me about the pieces. Um, are they made for curvy women at all? There are some. They, well, God, these models that run down the go down the runway, you know. But look at, I mean, I'm, I just had I to curvy, ask. I'm a curvy woman, so some of this stuff definitely looks great on curvy girls. We have some I'm a curvy girl. Suits. I love it. Ooh la la. We have some body suits that are really, really, you know, for a curvier, larger, larger, you know, woman who's comfortable with herself. It has a little oomph up here. And, um, you know, hats, of course, like at Kitty Andrews, I make hats for everybody. Love this hat. A little Eddie Van Halen, if you must, the guitar. But um, what sets your line aside from any other line we'll see here tonight? I would definitely say the construction, 
Um, we don't just focus on one sort of basic construction. We have ruching, we have, uh, you know, bias cut, we have different seams here. What about fabrics? Are there any special fabrics you use? We have custom textiles and we also have you know, things in the hats that I use. I use, you know, one hat I have, it looks like it might be hair, but it's actually feathers. Um, I mean, it's just really, we, we, we didn't put a, a cap on anything. What's your favorite piece? Extreme. My personal favorite piece is a- That we'll see tonight. Oh, it's a hat that is gonna go down the runway. And it had, it's a teal hat with a purple band. And it has these feathers that look like a mohawk all up the all up the back. So that's your favorite piece. Yeah, definitely. I'm looking forward to seeing that one. Well, I got to sit through the show right next to celebrity twin designers Totam and Tonya, and I learned a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Until next time, thanks for watching In La Cena. I'm Talia Patillo. Bye, everybody. Bye.